welcome to a day in the kitchen. Today I am bringing you along to come with me while I spend the day getting things done in my kitchen. So I hope I give you some motivation to get things done in your kitchen or whatever you need to get done and let's get right into it. So while I am waiting on the tea, I have bought a five pound um, package of hamburger meat that I need to cut up, but I'm also going to turn that into two meals. I'm going to make hamburgers and I'm going to make this Philly cheesesteak sloppy joe. I was going to do this in a what's for dinner type video, but I never got around to it and so I figured I would just throw it into this video because that is going to be our dinner tonight. So Adam likes his burgers very, very, very thin. And I'm making these burgers for him for lunch. So y'all let me know, how do you like your burgers? Do you like them thin, like thin, thin, or do you like them thick? I know some people like thick burgers. Uh, me personally, I don't mind the thick burgers. But it takes longer for them to cook. I like the thin, I'm glad Adam likes the thin burgers because they cook faster. He likes them like this, like paper thin, big and paper thin. So y'all let me know how you like your burgers. Okay, so that is done. The burgers are done anyways. And now I need to start dinner. I don't need to start dinner, but for the sake of the video, I'm gonna start dinner now. <clears throat> Sorry, even though I'm over the sickness, I still have the cough and like some of the chest congestion. It hasn't left yet. Uh, I hope none of you get what we had. It's awful and it was rough. Um, still dealing with a little bit of the cough and the congestion, but oh man, it was awful. Anyways, I'm not here to talk about that. So I bought a cantaloupe for Rayleigh. I've been, she is obsessed with cantaloupe. So I am thinking about cutting that up. Um, I'm thinking about getting me lunch. I don't know. I'm, I'm making a salad. I just get like the basic salad. I can't hold on. Let me see. I get the American blend. I don't, I don't know. I like, I love, sal I've been on a salad kick lately. And so I bought this the other day and um, I just use, I just put that and some cucumbers. Anyways, so I, uh, I'm, I'm thinking about making a salad and just putting some croutons in it. And um, I use, uh, so I switch back and forth on the dressing that I use. Um, I love there's only three. I know most people love ranch. I don't, I like ranch with like cucumbers or like um, carrots, but I don't like ranch as far as like in my salads. I used to, but I don't know. I guess they say every seven years your taste buds change. So I'm guessing that's got something to do with it. But I have been really, really enjoying the creamy Caesar dressing. I think it's like Ken's Caesar dressing or something. The Ken's Steakhouse creamy Caesar dressing 
Um, I really, really have been enjoying this. But I also like Thousand Island dressing. And I like um, Italian dressing. But I've been on this like Caesar dressing kick for a while. Oh, I also put uh, shredded Parmesan cheese in it. I don't have any chicken. Otherwise, I would put that in there because chicken Caesar salad is like delicious. But I don't have any chicken. So I'm just going to use this American blend salad, some croutons, some carrots. It's not carrots, some cucumbers, and this dressing. And I think I'm going to make me a salad. And then I'm going to start dinner. Um, and maybe possibly cut up this cantaloupe. I don't know which one I should do first because I need the cutting board for both. I really should get dinner done. I think that's what I'm going to do first. So anyways, I'm going to make my salad, then get dinner started. I'm really, I hope that y'all like this um, Philly cheesesteak sloppy joes. If you like sloppy joes, you have to try this. It is so good. So good. Um, I found this recipe on Pinterest and I was like, and we love like Philly cheesesteaks. And I've been making, um, I think I've shown it uh, several times, but I, I know I've at least shown it once, bacon cheddar sloppy joes. So I thought, you know what, that is a fun twist on it. And I, we tried it and we loved it, especially like Rayleigh. She loves like things like that and she loves, loves, loves that dinner. So um, I'm hoping she'll be excited that we're having it. But anyways, I'm going to get my salad and get my lunch and then um, and get the hair out of my mouth. Um, and then uh, start dinner. So for this recipe, you are going to need one pound of ground beef, one small yellow onion peeled and diced, one small green pepper seeded and diced, one and a half cups of fresh mushrooms diced. I don't do mushrooms, so that part I'll leave out. A tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce, a half a teaspoon of salt, a half a teaspoon of black pepper, a half a teaspoon of garlic powder, one tablespoon of cornstarch, a half a cup of beef broth, six slices of provolone cheese, and then four hamburger buns. But I'm telling y'all, you have to make this because it is so easy and also there's a slow cooker version of this um and that's what i got it for i got it to make in the slow cooker but i've never made it in the slow cooker i've always made it on the stove i don't know or i need to i need to make it in the slow cooker because it would make my life so much simpler but i always just but it's easy it's quick it's simple you just throw it together in the pan and it's done so really um it doesn't take that long, so it's it's a super easy dinner. Anyways, all right, so I'm gonna get started on this. What do I need to do first? All right, so I'm gonna cut up the bell pepper and the onion really fast, and then we'll get started on everything else. So once you're done cutting up the peppers and the onions, in a large skillet over medium heat, you're going to add the ground beef, onions, and diced green bell pepper, break up the meat, and saute until all the meat is brown. In a small mixing bowl, combine cornstarch, beef broth, Worcestershire sauce, salt, black pepper, and garlic powder. Pour the beef broth mixture into the ground beef mixture once you have drained and discarded any fat. Thank you. 
So then you are going to let the mixture simmer about five to six minutes. The broth will thicken slightly and flavors will blend. And this is the time to check the seasoning if you need to adjust any. And then you mix in the provolone cheese and start to blend the cheese with the beef mixture. And that is it. Super simple, super easy, super delicious. So if you try it, definitely let me know. Or if you've made this before, definitely let me know. And now we are on to cutting up this cantaloupe, finally. Um, Rayleigh was so thrilled that I did this because she was running out of her other one that I had gotten her and so this one was done at the perfect time and she's almost finished the whole thing already. <laughs> So that is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed coming along with me in this day in the kitchen. I hope I gave you some motivation to get things done in your kitchen or wherever you're needing to get things done. And Lord willing, I will see you on the next one.